Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 10-inch electric trailer brake assembly kit with the left hand and right hand assemblies for 3,500 pound axles. Now electric brakes are easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically they require only an electric brake controller which we do sell separately on our website. There's no actuator or hydraulic lines necessary. Now this kit will include everything shown here. It includes the 10 inch by 2 and a quarter inch driver side and passenger side electric trailer brake assemblies and the mounting hardware to install them. The brake shoes on these assemblies are lined with automotive grade friction material. This friction material is fully bonded. It's not riveted to the shoes. It gives you a longer life and more braking torque. Now these assemblies are manual adjustment brakes. The gear right down here is how you adjust them. They do require periodic manual adjustment. And the way you adjust them, let me turn it over here on the backing plate. There's two holes at the bottom that you'll put your screwdriver or your brake adjustment tool through to adjust the brakes. And what's usually those holes are open, but what's nice on these assemblies, they include these rubber adjuster plugs that'll cover those holes, helps keep dirt and grime off out of the assemblies and off your brake shoes. If you notice the four studs, it is designed to fit a four bolt brake mounting flange bolt pattern. And we mentioned it comes with the mounting nuts to install it. These parts are made in the USA. The dimensions again on these, the size of the assemblies is 10 inch by two and a quarter inch and what those measurements are, the 10 inch is the diameter that's measured brake shoe to brake shoe. So if we go straight across, 10 inch, two and a quarter is gonna be the width of the pad on the brake shoe. So if we put a ruler on that, there's your two and a quarter inch width. Now each brake assembly has a weight capacity of 1,750 pounds. So when both of these are used on the same axle, it'll meet the 3,500 pound axle rating. These do require the use of 10 inch drums. Now the wheel size that these will accept is 13 inch diameter, 14 inch and 15 inch diameters. Now these are electric brakes. So if you look at the back, you'll see two green wires coming out the back. They do need to be connected. One goes to a brake feed, one goes to a ground. And they're both green wires, so either wire can be used for either function. And the last thing I do just want to show you is how you can determine which one's left hand, which one's right hand. Now on new assembly, of course, there'll be a sticker. But if the sticker wasn't there, the easiest way to tell what side they go on, look at the length of the pad on the brake shoe. This pad goes from here to here. This one's all the way from here to here. This is longer, this is shorter. The shorter pad is your primary shoe. That'll always face the front of the trailer. So that'll go this way, so that'll tell you that this is the left-hand driver side. And same way over here, this pad is here to here. This one's just here to here, shorter, longer. That's your primary shoe, goes to the front. That's your passenger side, right-hand passenger side. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 10-inch electric trailer brake assembly kit with the left-hand and right-hand assemblies for 3,500-pound axles. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com and leave us a comment if you have any questions.